something new happening and uh, a new creation have taken place. So I'd like to congratulate Anand Mahindra for, uh, for inviting me for such a beautiful place and uh, my greetings to him and uh, Dr. Pavan Goenga and Mr. Rajan Vajedra and distinct guests Mahindra community. Good evening to all of you. Uh, friends, I am indeed delighted to participate in the inauguration of uh, Mahindra's Research Valley, a temple of creativity and innovation. At, uh, and uh, I am very happy to inaugurate the Mahindra Research Valley, temple of creativity and innovation at Mahindra World City, Chennai. My greetings to all of you. I am sure uh, Mahindra Research Valley research will facilitate Mahindra Group to generate innovative world-class automotive products and transform India into a global player in automotive industry. I am very happy that the first product to be designed just now, which was referred in Mahindra Research Valley XUV 500, has already been uh, declared an important contribution. And uh, I wish that the Mahindra Research Valley and its team to make many innovations in the automobile sector as a system and parts. When I am with you, I will like share a few thoughts on the topic Mahindra Research Valley and Technological Challenges. For the next 15 minutes, I am going to talk to you this area. That's my favorite area, Technological Challenges. Uh, friends, when I was studying the Global Innovation Report for the year 2011, I found that as per Global Innovation Index, uh, Switzerland is rank 1 and Sweden 2, Singapore 3, Hong Kong 4 and India 62. Far away. And there is a relationship between the Innovation Index and the competitiveness. Well, India is 62 in Innovation Index, our ranking Global Competition Index is 56 in 2010 and 2011. If India has to graduate from the present ranking of Competitiveness Index of 56 and become equal to economically developed nation within top 10, it is essential that the building indigenous design capacity, indigenous design capacity capability and leading to innovative index to better than five through growth has to be achieved by the use of technologies essentially developed elsewhere based on scientific discoveries and patents generated before 10 to 15 years now what we are using. Definitely latest technologies resulting from latest scientific results are not available from, naturally to not be available from developed countries. So friends, I feel hence research is a very, very vital and particularly basic science which will result in the latest technology required for meeting global competitiveness by Indian organization, institution, and industry. I'm happy the institutions like Mahindra Research Valley are coming up to fulfill these aspirations of the nation and enhance the ranking in innovation index and competitiveness index of the country. Now, I, I don't know whether I should go for a lecture or discussion. What is your suggestion? Your boss. Okay, let me see. I will go in between I do that. Now, let me first discuss the research areas for finding solution to environmental pollution problems. The World Energy Forum has focused on what is going to be the status of fossil fuel based on materials like oil, gas, coal in the next 50 to 100 years. I am anti-fossil fuel flow. I am arguing wherever when the automobile, automobile use petrol, I am always uh, against it. <laughs> so it is estimated, but I have come to the, the organization where liberally you are using. <laughs> But still, I will attempt, I will be very friendly with you. 
it's estimated by international forecasting that the available resource of fossil material will get exhausted within the next 50 to 100 years since these resources are non-renewable, this is from the World Energy Forum. And also, friends, I would like to share with you about the recent article, The New Scientist, which mentions about dumping of 38 billion tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere by all the nations every year. Not only really we, we are fourth ranked. The dumping primarily arises due to the use of fossil fuels which directly affects the ozone layer, which is existing between 25 to 50 kilometers above the Earth's surface. As you all know, ozone layer regulates the sun radiation and cosmic radiation on the Earth. Earth experiencing both stratospheric cooling and also tropospheric warming. The question is, how do we protect our Earth by protecting the atmosphere? This poses the challenge to automotive researchers and engineers to concentrate on improved combustion engine, alternate fuels, renewable energy sources, and alternate power plants. Now, automotive researchers are continuously working on increasing the specific power output and reducing the fuel consumption and emissions. Today, electronic multi-point fuel injection system has become a common in all the vehicles. Whereas for getting better control and precision over combustion and emission, we have to work on a direct injection of a gasoline for better exhaust characteristics. Gasoline direct injection permits combustion of ultra lean fuel air mixtures under diverse operating conditions and hence can deliver higher performance with lower fuel consumption and lower emission. This technology will be applicable to four-wheelers, three-wheelers, and two-stroke engines. One of the important aspects of diesel engine is that the oxide of nitrogen, NIX, and particulate material may have matter in the emission are high. This has to be overcome by the use of advanced combustion technologies, which you are aware, which will reduce both. Indian automotive engineers have to work on this area and offer the system for use in all types of diesel vehicles. The most challenging area for the automobile researchers will be to design the engine and fuel injection system for making them compatible for the use of the emulsified fuels, 40% water plus 60% diesel or petrol. This innovation has taken place in Madras. I would think once I witnessed the experiment also. Dear friends, I had discussion with the expo 